St. Anthony, home to about 2,400 people, a service center, an active port, and a modern seafood plant. But look at the workers on the line. The youngest, 55, symbolic of the problem. Dwayne Cull watched his children grow up, get an education, and leave. The generation after us has moved away. Uh, by and large, uh, along this coast and, and in this community, uh, you, you could almost you can always be firm in saying that that generation has moved. Call and his wife are like so many others here, empty nesters, part of a worldwide population shift from rural to urban. But here, it's changing the social fabric. Few are hopeful. You know, when we go into the John M. Gray Seniors Home in, in 15 years' time, then we're going to be very lonely. Uh, we won't be as fortunate as my grandmother was. She had a, a son and a daughter. Six grandchildren, uh, I think it was maybe four grandchildren, uh, great-grandchildren, that were visiting her, uh, you know, on a daily basis. There were people in and out of the room all the time for, for her last years. But for my last years, unless I move out of here, I, I won't have a soul come visit me. Decline and out-migration, a constant theme. In the early 90s, 25,000 people called this peninsula home. Now it's about 16,000, and the hollowing out will continue. Nowhere is this collapse more evident than in Cooks Harbor. Meet Hayward Elliott, 80, artificial knees, but still carrying a tool belt. He keeps up the church for less than a dozen people. One time there was four or five hundred people there now, I suppose. There's less than a hundred, I say, perhaps. There I am, a hundred, anyhow. And so where do you see this place in 20 years? <laughs> it's just a ghost town, so no one here. In 20 years, no one no here. There were once 25 fishing crews here, now just five. Because the most we got here now is pensioners. If you take them out of the community right now, you might have 20 people left here. So that give you an idea of how bad our community is being downgraded. Empty homes. An all-grade school with just 11 students. A town council, just two members. Some say it's hopeless. If you're optimistic in Cooks Harbor now that something's going to be on to go in 10 years' time, uh, I like to, I like to, I like to Aaron explain to him what he's going to do to, to bring the employment back to Cooks Harbor. You know, there's nothing, to me, there's nothing, nothing you can do. Back in St. Anthony, the mayor says there's hope, but it's a long shot. You know, if we struck uh, oil off our coast next week, we'd boom. But other, other than something like that, I don't think we're going to survive it all, no. In the future, we'll be here as a town, but it'll be, you know, they often call this the forgotten coast. I, I think we'll truly see that come true. The town offered free land to develop housing for seniors, no takers. Businesses struggle to find workers, and the schools. Closures and consolidations. Just a single regional school in St. Anthony these days, serving a handful of communities. The mayor says brace for the future. I, I don't think there's any winning. I think we're looking at a population decline that we've never seen before. And that's not going to stop in any, in any near future. No one is suggesting a place the size of St. Anthony will be erased from the map, but ask what the place will look like in 20 years. They pause before saying something like this. Uh, you know, I, I think I'll, I'll be hanging around here as long as my lifestyle, uh, as long as I can partake in my lifestyle that I've been used to forever. And when it comes to the point where I've got to sell my boat and sell the snowmobiles and give up fishing, then it's likely Dwayne will be moving on somewhere else. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. Anthony.